In this video, we're going to cover one of the past HSC exam questions, one of the short answer questions. Um, what I'll do is I'll read over the actual question and then give you five seconds to pause the video. Make sure to pause the video and once you've paused it, try to attempt it. And then when you've finished it, play the video and I'll go over the answer itself. So the first, it has an A and B component. Um, first is explain what is meant by the term condensation polymer. And that's worth two marks. And B is describe the reaction involved in the formation of a condensation polymer. And that is worth one mark. So five seconds, pause video, attempt the question and then play it when you've done it. All right, so for, for the very first one, for A, it's important to look at the verb. The verb says explain. So what is meant by explain is need not just be able to identify. Identify would be uh, what is a condensation polymer. Cellulose is a condensation polymer. Explain means you need to be able to describe and uh, give more detail in terms of what a condensation polymer. You need to be able to explain what it is. So explain means yeah, what is it and give some details. So it's not supposed to be just identifying, it's more than that, give some detail. So you need to be able to explain both what a polymer is and what a condensation polymer is. So if you can do that in your answer, you should get two marks. So first I wrote a condensation polymer is a large molecule that consists of a number of monomers that are end, attached end by end. Right? So first we've described what a polymer is, that was this part here, the whole thing. And I used a few scientific words such as large molecule. Um, I made sure to use that word monomers, which is really, very important. And it just, in this case, I just described, explained the first part. What is a polymer? A condensation polymer is a large molecule that consists of a number of monomers that are attached end by end. And then the second part is I explained what a condensation polymer was. So the monomers are able to join together due to condensation reactions at the expense of a small molecule that condenses out, usually water. So you're going to use some of the scientific words such as condensation reaction. Um, obviously I made sure that, that I wrote that the monomers join together. So from a couple of monomers you go into a polymer. And also very importantly I um, added the small molecules that are condensed that condenses out, usually water. So you could have written you know, small molecules are lost, but if you write condenses out, that's more scientific than if you write lost, but both are correct as well. So in this case, we have answered that question. We've explained what is meant by the term condensation polymer. First, we explained what a polymer was, and then what a condensation polymer was. So that should give us two marks, so two out of two for that. And for the second one, for B, describe the reaction involved in the formation of a condensation polymer. That was quite similar. It says describe. That was quite similar to the first one. But it's a bit different because describe doesn't mean we have to explain. We just need to describe the reaction. So um, just literally, I'm going to write describe again, but kind of give a short outline of, of what the reaction involves, how it looks like. So what you can do, I mean, you don't have to, but you can actually draw a quick diagram. So it didn't write anything there, but you can imagine these are the glucose. So each of these is a glucose molecule. Glucose here, glucose there. And then you have your OH groups. One there, one there. And they will join together. And when they join together, you have that bond here. And you've lost a water molecule. So now we've descri described the actual reaction in a picture form, but it's still important to make sure that you actually write something as well, even though it's only worth one mark. So uh, the monomers have functional groups on either end to allow condensation reactions to occur. So the functional groups are these N groups here, and they're either hydroxyl, so that hydroxyl group is that OH group, amine, which is NH2, or carboxyl acid groups. You don't have to write that, but you can if you wanted to. But you make sure you obviously write, for example, if you, if you write, um, draw a diagram of a glucose, two glucose monomers attaching, make sure that the functional group is that hydroxyl group. Make sure you write that down. To attach the monomers end by end, 
water is conden condensated out in the process, so water is lost in the process, which was that second part here. So in this case, if you, if you kind of made sure to mention that you have two function groups joined together, and that's where the bond forms at the expense of a water molecule or a small molecule in general, then you should get one mark for that as well. So that's one mark question. And overall, so that would be a three out of three. So I hope that was useful.